Now, I want to get your take on this topic. What were your thoughts when you saw this Amber Rose bottomless picture floating on social media? What was uh, your my reaction? My first thought was like that she had two different barbers, clearly. <laughs> um, but second of all, I was just like, damn, that's crazy. But, you know, I'm not, I don't like to judge people. So, you know, to each his own. Now, she had a bottomless picture that she uh, posted on Instagram and her Twitter. Uh, did you f- see it on her Instagram or did you see it like other people? Rep- how'd you come I had just seen it because other people were reposting it. Yeah. I actually posted it on my Instagram story, but Instagram snap, snatched that shit down real quick. Some people, there's two different sides to people seeing this picture. Some people say a picture like this is degrading. Yeah. Another side of people say a picture like this is empowering. How do you view this? Mm, I think I'm kind of indifferent towards it. Mm. I don't, I, it doesn't matter to me. It doesn't affect me. It doesn't affect my life. It doesn't hurt me. So I don't really care. <laughs> Does a picture like this surprise you? From Amber Rose? No, it doesn't surprise me. Not surprised. Not, not shocked. Her. Yeah, I wasn't shocked. Not at all. Is something like this too much for the internet? Is something like this too much for Instagram or Twitter? I don't think anything is too much for Instagram or social networks. <laughs> I don't think I've seen a, a point where it's like, wow, that was just too much because everybody's posting everything on social media. So I wasn't surprised, shocked. It was just another thing like, oh yeah. Well, the reason I why I ask is because, you know, with the internet, if yeah. you're a parent of a child, you can, if you have the uh, blocking software, you can block certain things from being shown, right? Or in a school, if they have the blocking software, they can block websites or whatever the case may be. There's like a filter system. Right. But with Instagram, there currently is no filter system for children. So whatever is posted out there, it's out there. Right. Is this a concern, a picture like this for those type of people? I mean, if your child is on Instagram, I just feel like you just are have to expect that that's the type of thing that they're going to see on there. So if you don't want them to see that, then don't let them have an Instagram. Don't let them have a phone. Shit. Do <laughs> you need think, a phone for? You're 12. <laughs> do you think there's an appropriate age? I mean, you're a parent now. Do you I think am. there's an appropriate age a children should, you know, be given the privilege of having Instagram as a... Uh, I mean, I just feel like every child is different. Every parent is different. You know when your child is mature enough to handle those types of things. You know when they're mature enough to be able to scroll through TV because you're going to see crazy stuff on TV all the time. You can't control that. You know, so you just have to know your child and know what they're ready to see. 